So is this the one you've just finished today, was it? Oh yeah, yeah, uh, two hours ago actually. Now this is entirely um, driftwood picture. Everything's made of driftwood, made the made frame driftwood. and the... Uh, on paper. I did this in two days actually. I didn't start till Monday, so back to two and a half days. But the girl's hair, um, I was going to use that for the frame actually, but when I just tried my spoke shave on it, the wood come off nice and cleanly and crispy, but yeah. fairly strong. So I used it for the hair instead. All this is driftwood, just driftwood shavings. Just it's all um, it's all uh, driftwood shavings, yeah. Was it based on anyone in particular, or was it just a... No, well to be honest, a, I... Your imagination? I've been rummaging up in the loft for the, the last week or so, and I thought I'd show you uh, quite a lot of this collage I made many years ago. And I wanted to, I made one back 30 years ago now. <coughs> but it was a bit damaged, and it, it looked just a bit too tatty, so I scrapped that. And I thought, I'm going to try and make another one in a couple of days, because I wanted to do this tonight. So I did this start on Monday lunchtime. Mm. So I've done this in just about two days, I'm quite pleased with it. But you know, anybody that's seen any of the other videos, you know I like working with driftwood. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's quite effective really. Next one. So, like I say, I've been up in the loft rummaging, uh, and I've found stuff which I probably made 30 years ago. I mean, at those days I was into collage a lot. Because you can make a picture of anything basically. Now this, this is like a tenement block. So it's shops and it's it's just entirely matchboxes. It was just a challenge and it's fun. Just matchboxes and that's, that's just matchboxes, yeah. As you can say a lot. It's certainly different, isn't it? It's different, yeah. Now I'll show you some of the other stuff I've made over the years. Um now I'm totally not into politics. And I can't remember how long it is since I made this. It's got to be 30 years. Anyone's into politics that, might recognise some of the faces. So I can't remember. Is it Thatcher's so, cabinet, isn't it? This is just a bit of a mock of uh, um, politicians, but I recognise some. Um, who have got now? Ted Heath, Tory. What was his name? Howell. The miner's friend, Margaret Thatcher. I'll apologise for that sick Joe. Um, that was... Um, Enoch Powell, best remember for his Rivers of Blood speech. And over here we've got. Of, I remember a lot of these on Spitting Image. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Tony Benn, that was the only man, was his name? Uh, was it Lynn Gorman? I can't remember. I can't remember, remember no. Was that Dennis Healy? Yeah, with the eyebrows. With the eyebrows. I think his name was Sinjin Stoddard, see, or something like that. I think his name was Edwards. But. Um, Yeah. Different. I don't know where I get the ideas from. And for a while I was into stick sculpture. I spent uh, quite a few hours out of Yorkswood. Now this one was, um, this is the footballer. If you look at the branches, I don't know if you can see. That's the skater. Who's this one? Oh, this one is the... Uh, that's a creep, the bowler. So these are just sticks creep. you found in the They're wood that you've like oh, yeah, cause there's always sculpted into well, figures. There's, a, there's always storm damaged trees over Yorkshire and places like that, so I generally try and use timber that's uh, blown down. But uh, if you look at them long enough, you can see these figures. Um, obviously, all they did was basically shave the head. But you can see the different sports footballer, skater, cricketer. The, the, the cricketers. That's the bowling. It's yeah. perfect, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's amazing you find a piece well, like that. Okay, it's can the you perfect see, bowling can you, action. Yeah, can you see the skater? Can you Ooh. see the skater? <laughs> yeah. And yeah. the footballer. But uh, that was a lot of fun, that was. Of course, it doesn't pass from anything. Just takes a bit of patience, basically. Fine, I can imagine it? looking at, looking at yeah. trees and branches so, all day. Well, uh, yeah, I'll just get a few funny looks at times. <laughs> <laughs> I t tended to try and take the dog in, not so bad when you've got a dog with you, hanging about. Yeah. Now this was, this was um, an experiment, that is just one piece of uh, 
quarter ply and it just you, every day every day creates in squares finish up that size but that's just one piece of ply surprised how strong that is that must be 30 40 years old that was just an experiment in there. Um, now, next question. How can you make a 24 inch piece of wood into 34 inches? Like this. <laughs> that was just a challenge as well. Fun to make. So you just carved that out of one. Well, one... it's easy actually. You just uh, set the garden you saw in so far and do a four ways, reverse it to the four ways, then you're left with like with a cross, an elong elong elongated cross. And every time you cut the bit out in the middle, you say, cut that bit out, because it's like the stunner. You're going in. Yeah. So I mean this piece of wood is only that long to start up. That was fun. I've, I've never been able to think of anything to do with it, but <laughs> <laughs> I might one day. Um what else have we got to show you? Oh, Music boxes in town. Um, that's just bark. But, um, Still works after. How long, oh, how yeah. long ago did you make that? It's got to be 40 years old, isn't it? 40 years? At least 40 years, yeah. Made me married very long. It's even got a landscape to it. That was fun. They're all fun to make. Um, did I show you this? The no, I haven't seen that one yet. The clock. This, driftwood um, clock. This is a driftwood clock. But what fascinates me with this one is, this is my skull clock. How is that for... Yeah, it's... it's How is that for a stone it's off the It's uncannily like... Oh, it's uh, fantastic. I couldn't, it that. I couldn't believe when I saw that. It's quite creepy really, isn't it? It is actually. Effective. If I live by the shades, I think I spend all my time in the boat. I just love, you know, early morning, deserted Be beach, beach look, um, stones, driftwood, fishnet, nails, iron. It all comes from washing yeah. the so, Shoreline. Um, what else have we got to show you? Tell you what I did bring in the uh, the whirly gig I was going to show you last time. Remember? Mm. It's a, I think it's in there. This was the last one I made. I mean, got the wind and it's away. No, no, it's been windy today, Bill, but of course it's dark now. What do you think? It looks good, doesn't it? Oh, it's like a ceramic then, I think. A lot behind it. We altered this mechanism a couple of times. Originally they both moved, but it's too there's too much drag, too much friction, so I'll just set off with a, a rear gunner. That's fair, I'm waiting on the set. Can't please with that. Yeah. Else I can't make so I think that's about it for now then. Um, I'll try and do another one <coughs> in about four weeks before Christmas. Um, and I'm sure you're pleased I resisted the temptation to sing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, but I can't promise the next one. Uh, okay, so until Christmas then, 